So far, when we were discussing about CSS, we covered our colors in that. So there we checked what are the different ways of passing a color with a name or using the hexadecimal code. Now here in CSS3 again we are discussing about the colors but here we will check something different. Like here we will see how to manage the opacity of any particular color like you want to make it 100% opaque or maybe somewhat transparent. So, Let's see what all new features are there regarding the colors in CSS3. So as far as the colors are concerned with CSS3, here we have the same concept as we were having in the normal CSS. That is, we can use the RGB in order to create the various colors. Like here you can see, the first parameter is again for red, then G that is green and then third one is for the blue. But you can also notice there is a fourth parameter out here which is newly added with RGBA which is in CSS3. So as far as this alpha is concerned it will tell you about the how transparent or how opaque you want there to be for a color alright. So let's save it for now and let's refresh here. So you can see that this is red, green and blue but not to the extreme. There is some sort of lightness in the color that's because of the transparency. If I will increase the value out here, minimum it will be 0, maximum it will be 1 and in between you can give you the decimal value. So as you can see, as I increase the value, it is darker in shade. Similarly, if I will give you 1 here, so it will be at its max that is the proper red, green and blue. So let's save and you can see this is the actual color and as less value I will give like 0 0.1, 0.1 and 0 0.1 so this will be the lightest shade available in the RGB like this alright so this is about the transparency similarly you can also use the opacity keyword out here in order to set the opacity like here you can see I am I'm doing the similar thing but here I'm using another style I'm using similar RGB method not RGBA and apart from that I'm using another keyword that is opacity and I'm passing the value 0.6 alright so when I will refresh you can see it is 0.6 and again like in alpha we were passing 0.3 0.3 I can do that as well in the opacity so these are the things this is how it will be displayed another way of passing the values here for the color we have the HSL that is hue saturation and lightness so basically in the first parameter that is hue you can pass the values like 0, 120, 240, 360. You can pass any values in between also but these are the things which will give you the absolute colors like 0 and 360 will give you red, 120 will give you green, 240 will give you blue. So as here you can see in this current example I am using 120 so that means I am going to set the green. After that, you can make the changes in the saturation and lightness, like how light you want that particular color, alright? So let's save it and see the output in the browser. So here you can see green, normal green and dark green, just because of the change in the lightness in the third parameter. So these are the new things, these are the new ways using the colors in the CSS3.